Mr. Mayor, the MBTA is facing a nearly $600 million deficit, and gonna, they're going to cut service by about 30%. What are you doing to ease the impact for Bostonians, especially those with no alternatives for getting to work? Well, first of all, I don't agree with the cutback in service. I think that uh, it, it's short-sighted. I think that, you know, many, many government agencies, including the city of Boston and other places, are facing deficits, and we have to figure out ways to fill the gap. And I think by cutting service, the MBTA uh, is not the right way to go. Too many people depend on the T. Essential workers depend on the T. Uh, our nurses and hospitals depend on the MBTA. And, and, and when we think about getting our economy back on track, when people start to come back, people are saying we can add service. That won't be the case. I think cutting service is, is a wrong step here. But by cutting a commuter service after 9 p.m., isn't that good news for controlling the pandemic? Well, I guess, I don't know, I don't necessarily think that. I think that actually with the COVID right now, the, the, some of the protocol that the MBTA has put in place is actually good for the pandemic and helping us is not spreading. We haven't, I haven't heard any case that, that the MBTA or public transportation is a spreader, uh, but, but I do think I have major concerns with cutting service. I, again, I think we're trying, to, we're trying to keep our economy moving forward as we move here and, and cutting service is not the right way. And, and I, I would suggest that the state find ways to fill, fill that budget gap. I mean, it, my concerns are long-term what's going to happen here. Boston is suing the management of Faneuil Hall for default after months of negotiations. So if you can briefly explain what happened and, and, and maybe even in a, in a larger part, what does this mean for the small merchants and for the city's tourism industry? Well, right now what we're concerned about the Faneuil Hall is, is, is the city of Boston owns Faneuil Hall. We have an operator there that, that has a long term lease there uh, and we want to make sure that we protect the merchants that are out there. Uh, we have a lot of small merchants and, and you know, we, we called in uh, a default on them. We are having a meeting tomorrow in my office. Uh, Zoom and I think in-person Zoom meeting to talk about what the future of Faneuil Hall holds here and how we can protect the merchants out there and, and allow that asset to, to continue to drive moving forward. Um, you suggested a little earlier that you're not ready to declare that you're running for a third term here this morning uh, and political observers, however, are fairly convinced that you will run. You've got nearly six million dollars in your campaign. So my question to you is, what do you need to do that you have not yet done in eight years? Uh, I think, you know, the, the biggest thing right now, honestly, is focusing on today, is focusing on the coronavirus. Uh, you know, this has been a very challenging time in the city of Boston. It's not, nothing that I ever expected that we'd be, be, would be, would be confronted with. And it, right now, for me, it's honestly getting to the city through the next, the next few months here and maybe next year in the coronavirus and getting our economy and getting people back on track. That's the biggest thing, the biggest challenge that we have as a city right now. And there are many other things, but that's the biggest. And do you think that, you know, what makes you a better mayor than either Andre or Campbell or Michelle Wu, considering what we're facing right now. When the time comes, I will state my case. Or but how about right now? Are the Patriots a playoff team? Because <laughs> I know you're you're very interested in them. Well, you know, you think about the Patriots. It's unfortunate their record's I think three and five right now, and um, they, they could be very easily eight and three right uh, f uh, the other way around. Yeah, the, five you know, and three. Five yeah. and three. Excuse yeah. me. Um, you know, they lost a couple of close games. I, I think that I don't think they're going to make the playoffs this year, unfortunately. Um, and I think that you know the Patriots are going to have to be thinking about rebuilding a bit next year. The beauty is, I think that we can come back strong next year. So, more, um, Eddie, did you notice that he's much more eager to talk? about the Patriots <laughs> than running for right re-election. I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mayor, thank you for joining us. We thank really you. appreciate it. Thank Thanks you. for coming in.